Uh, so we're here with VP Kim Fitkin. And uh-huh. Kim, I know that you and Stone previously did like a summer slim down challenge at uh, Fitness on Fire. Is there uh, anything you could uh, talk about with that? It was a 60 day challenge and uh, I didn't win. And but it was like $1600 or something was the it's the pri- Yeah, it was the prize money or 1200 or something like that. It was a lot of money. You know, we didn't get what we wanted. So then we started the KB challenge here. So, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what we're doing now. Not not body fat. Um, you know, my whole idea around it was um, you know, I like to see progress, not perfection. Mm. And um, you know, get people motivated, get them excited about living a healthy lifestyle that's what we like to promote here so yeah we wanted people to just kind of start you know feeling good about themselves but some people are taking it very seriously they're going on detox this week we have only a few days left so that's what i like because uh you know i think fitness is overlooked because it you know as long as you're you're feeling good you're eating well and you're active you're gonna do better at things like your job yeah and 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 have focus because eight hours i miss a long work day right uh, but yeah, that's what I liked that you started the challenge here for us. And, uh, you know, we have like 20 some people or so yeah. who, who joined in. And, um, so yeah, I think it'll be great just for the company overall. You know what I mean? Slim down, feel good and just, uh, continue our PPC success. Jess is in the competition. She's, uh, you know, our, our, I guess her initial goal is to drop weight and it's been a 12 week challenge and she's actually done the opposite. That's actually false. I've lost negative nine pounds. I don't know what that means, but I, I think you've gained weight. Yes, but I like to spin it and um, say that I lost negative nine pounds. Right. But yeah. right. We have Grant here, and he's also in the weight loss challenge, and he hasn't given an update in quite a while, and we want to know, everyone here at KB wants to know, what's the update? You can take my money. Is this is this a gloating vlog? No. Is he just gloating? That no, grin is days. ear to ear. <laughs> no, it's not. See, we'll see the effect. How much weight have you lost? Tw- um, uh, al- almost 25 pounds. What about you? So since it started, I've lost 10 pounds. 10 pounds? Yeah, I think, I think you were probably the last person I think would win this. We haven't tested you for drugs. Tiff, a lot of people have been salty because it does look like I'm gonna win, but it's not over until Monday. Um, But how's your progress been going? How are you feeling? It's been going backwards and I'm feeling horrible. It's been going the opposite way you want it to go. Okay, well, what was your, let's say, what was your initial strategy though going in? Did you have one? Um, I thought putting money into this would motivate me, but it kind I don't know, it did the opposite. I think I'm just, Really yeah. bad. So you just kind of made a donation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> am I using drugs? I think you're just like, you said you weren't working out. and No, I am working out. Really? Yeah, I've been working out and running. Oh, I yeah. heard there were rumors that he just stopped working out and he started losing weight. So, so rumors um, about laxatives, <laughs> <laughs> excessive laxative use. You were a kinesiology major? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So... Has that helped you in these past 12 weeks, do you oh, think? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, what's this, like, what strategy have you gone with? This is not going to be blog appropriate. No, it's, it's, it is appropriate. Yeah. When, I'm the, when I'm the host, anything goes. Mainly just um, not eating. Yeah. And okay. usually whenever I get hungry, I'll chew on some ice cubes. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then, um, or like watch a commercial with food and it kind of like is almost like you're eating it. Right, right. Yeah, right, right. so that's usually what I've I been doing. I can do that. I can like picture it, you know, envision it. Yeah, or like a hypnosis session oh, where yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they tell you that your stomach is full. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So over these, you know, over these past 12 weeks, have you felt better physically and mentally, would you say? Absolutely. Are, are you like... Other than like the severe headaches and migraines that I'm getting and like some of the blackouts, those are not, not exactly, (laughs) not exactly. I know. We have the CEO here who's also in the competition. A lot of people. the summer slim down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people, when they talk about JD, Mitch, 
for example, brings up the dad bod. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. Fair. Is that fair? It's, it's technically correct. So I am a dad and I have a bod. <laughs> <laughs> so how is the dad bod coming along? How has your progress been these past 12 weeks? Uh, that, it's been that long, 12 weeks. Um, in like maybe four out of those 12 weeks, I've been serious about it. And then everything else has kind of like fallen by the wayside. So um, it's caught up to me a little bit. I lost some good pounds. But then once I heard what you lost, I kind of like didn't care to continue. So oh, yeah, yeah. You just lost the motivation after I that? I did, yeah. It's kind of Ooh. bad. I was like, I'm not going to win this fight. So yeah. I'm pick another one. Yeah. It's just something I'm good at. And you're good at, you know, just, just doing things. what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. It's, a, it's a good trade-off. Yeah, thank you. So no more squash? No. No, no squash at all. Gotcha. No, I don't like squash. Well, I'll be ready to, to eat some stuff whenever you're ready okay. after so, Monday. Well, I need to stop doing that, but you can definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for sure. Okay. All right. Thank cool, you. cool. Thank you. So strategy-wise for me, how I looked at it was kind of like target CPA, right? You, you got to give it some room, but trust the process and don't fear off. I would say people who joined this competition were more of on that maximize conversions bit strategy, right? Trying to just make a bunch of progress very, very quickly, but then they end up running out of that necessary energy to push them over the finish line. Um, so target CPA, I mean, it's, it's, it's looking good for this competition. Um, we, we've, got, we've got Beavis here. He's in the weight loss competition. Uh, we want to know, we want an update on your progress. How have you been feeling since, since we started 12 weeks ago? You know, I, I felt like I was fluctuating, but um, every weigh-in has been just a pound less. So I'm shaving it off, but I'm not in top three anymore because we, we've got this guy here <laughs> taking over. So uh, share us your secrets, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Brody is kind of the last person I would expect to lose weight just because he's just fit already. Yeah. So it's the laxatives. <laughs> Since you've been dropping weight, have you noticed uh, an improvement in your mood or anything like that? Or maybe even your focus at work? Yeah, definitely focus. Yeah, yeah. I've been falling asleep less at work, uh, which is good. Um, and I think my energy level has been up. Um, so I've been able to focus... So I'm here today to ask Michael to ask Broden about his weight loss journey. Michael, can you please ask Broden how his weight loss journey has been? Uh, yeah, so do you know where you last put them? That's where I would start. Because when I lose my weight... No, no, no. He's losing physical weight off of his body. He's not like a, a person who lost their stuff. He's trying to lose weight off of his body. So, hey, Broden... How have you been losing weight, not where did you lose your weights? So... <laughs> Can you please describe the role uh, turmeric has had in your weight loss journey here recently? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Turmeric, tur tur um, I pronounce it tur turmeric because that's what it looks like, and everyone's pronouncing it turmeric. Um, if that's how it's pronounced, I don't want to put it in my body anymore. Turmeric. Um, how has it helped you? Uh, it's helped me because it's actually a better anti-inflammatory than ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a seasoning. You can put it on food. You can get it in pill form. I, I wake up after workouts not sore at all. You know what I mean? I totally understand. I wake up not sore every day from not working out. Yeah. Same page. Right. Yeah. Okay, so Broden, I'm about 64% body fat right now. When you look at someone like me, I look like a little baby seal. Uh, what would be the number one piece of advice you would give me? Would it be eating, sleeping, uh, lay off maybe the Diet Coke, the pizzas, the Zaz every day? What would be your number one piece of advice? Uh, number one piece of advice would be, you know, I'd probably ask w why you would want to lose weight. Like, what would the point be for you? Um, you know, because you, you may be motivated to be healthier for your own family, your kids. No. No? No? Okay. Appreciate that. So let's look at the camera and give him one flex. Here we go. Sure thing. Bobby, flex? I, I was. I am. What's up, Stone? So uh, Chris and I are on our way to uh, something called Startup Grind Irvine, where we're going to pitch Kite. <laughs> 